Singapore has set a 30 by 30 goal, which is to produce 30% of our nutritional needs locally by the year 2030. Growing the aquaculture sector will increase local production of fish, a nutritious source of protein, and contribute towards this goal. To grow more with less, our aquaculture sector will need to transform into one that is highly productive and employs climate resilient and sustainable technologies. R&D can help us achieve this goal and this is where SFA's Marine Aquaculture Centre can play a role. Welcome to the Marine Aquaculture Centre, located on St John's Island in the southern waters of Singapore. Established in 2003, MAC aims to deepen Singapore's expertise in aquaculture as well as build up Singapore's R&D ecosystem for tropical aquaculture through collaboration with companies and research institutions. To ensure a long-term sustainable supply of marine fish fry, MAC undertakes R&D in large-scale hatchery production technology. We also collaborate with institutes of higher learning on R&Ds in areas such as nutrition and health. Some of our key R&D initiatives include large-scale marine fry production technology, live feeds culture improvement, Culture Nutrition R&D to develop different types of experimental fish feeds and a selective breeding program for the Asian sea bass. Initially, many local hatcheries used an extensive outdoor pond system which required a larger land area and was vulnerable to external conditions such as the weather and diseases. However, by developing intensive technologies that work in a local context, local hatcheries have since adopted an intensive indoor production system that is more productive and climate resilient. Another key focus of MAC is the development of fish genetics and brood stock. Through our partnership with Tomasic Life Sciences Laboratory on the Asian Sea Bass Selective Breeding Programme, we have developed superior Asian sea bass lines that are able to grow faster and are more disease resistant. The breeding program utilizes genomic tools for more accurate selection of superior individuals without the use of genetic modification. Overall, these developments help to raise the productivity of local aquaculture and enhance our food security. MAC also supports the local R&D and innovation aquaculture ecosystem by providing husbandry-related expertise and ease of access to biological materials for them to conduct aquaculture R&D. These include share facilities such as replicate tank systems for carrying out feed trials and incubator space for commercialization and test bedding of R&D results. These facilities have also been built to accommodate R&D at all stages of the aquaculture production cycle, from egg to grow out. Besides R&D, MAC also supports local farms by providing advisory on setting up live feed cultures and fish breeding techniques, assisting in setting up hatcheries and accompanying larvae culture protocols, and facilitating the adoption of technologies. MAC also hosts workshops and learning journeys to share their work on aquaculture R&D. As we work towards our 30 by 30 goal, MAC will continue to expand large-scale fish hatchery and fish farming production in the tropics, support local farms and the growth of our R&D ecosystem to develop innovative and sustainable solutions for the aquaculture industry. This will bring us closer to our 30 by 30 goal and contribute towards our efforts in ensuring a supply of safe food for Singapore. <laughs>